here we are, uh, recursively flattening to a certain depth. This oh, is very wow. similar. If you haven't seen the flatten video, we already have a video up on flattened, like regular flatten at one level. This is going to go to a particular level. So we see here, let's look at an example, uh, flatten depth. If you don't pass anything, I think it said it just, what did, uh, let's go back actually. Uh, if depth is provided, it's guaranteed to be a positive integer. Um, and if you don't pass anything, it's just, I think, recursive. Yeah, exactly. It'll just keep going. So this is saying stop at a particular depth of recursion. Um, if we want, how about I throw up the uh, the example of the one that we had before? And again, this is in a previous video. It's not cheating. This is the mm -hmm. flatten that we had before. Um, Somehow, on, go ahead. Now I see the, uh, the, the well, uh, accumulator would be coming very handy right now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So let's, I'll set it up for you. Uh, so we're definitely going to want to start with, uh, let's see, depth is guaranteed to be a number, but let's say, let's just put it there anyway to be nice. And you want an accumulator. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so what would you put in this accumulator? An unknown uh, array and then uh, mm -hmm. initialize with... Uh, um, ah, you've done this kind of thing before then, definitely. <laughs> so we have, and we have T, I guess T is like, uh, it's always good to put that constraint in there, I feel like, until you don't, until you can't, just makes yeah. it easier for the consumers of things. So mm -hmm. yeah, where would you, where would you go with something like this? So um, I think the similar structure of uh, normal flatten, mm -hmm. but then... Um, um, instead of, so can we copy that? Sure. And then instead of uh, returning an array, like uh, on uh, 48 mm -hmm. and 49, we're okay. going to call or how do you say calling a type, <laughs> make a type, flatten depth. Okay. And I think for now, just ignoring the depth uh, argument, so to say. Mm -hmm. And then uh, put there the same thing. Oh, the same thing inside. Okay, that, that we had here. Yeah. Uh, and, and on the uh, accumulator, uh, parameter like the first would be then ah um and then tail. and then pass in the accumulator yeah so that would be the accumulator so here's the first argument here's the second argument here's the third argument something like this yeah so the, the first would be the accumulator right the what we have on 49 right now yes oh the first argument is the accumulator yeah yeah so that would uh go into the third uh, order. Oh, yeah, I see what you're doing. I thought you were using an accumulator for the counting. So, okay, I'm going to stop you there. Oh. I have a question. Oh. How yeah. are we going to stop recursing? Yeah, so I think you can uh, extend the array and uncheck the length property, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And... So oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push this to the side. So we could say, like... Um, uh, so this accumulator is going to be more of a counter, right? Yeah, maybe a number is better than. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What what I've seen some a lot of people do this with unknown array, and then they just add like, you know, they just add unknown to it recursively yeah. until they need to stop, and you can check the length that way. I saw somebody oh, right. do this, which I thought was pretty cool because it makes it clear <laughs> that it's it's like a just a counter. It's an array of yeah. ones, <laughs> which is yeah. kind of funny. <laughs> So, okay. so you can say exactly like you're saying now, you can say uh, count length extends and then uh, depth, right? Oh, right. Yeah. So this is like and saying then, like, uh, like uh, stop, I guess, like return what we have mm -hmm. or keep going. Yeah. So yeah. I want to give you I want to give you like a a leg up or a hint of sorts. So mm -hmm. there is a 
there is a pretty big difference between what we need and what this provides because this is always recur. It'll just keep going until it finishes. But we we yeah. need something that will do kind of like a f like flatten once because we're controlling when to flatten from up here, right? We're gonna do that next. So in order, pretty much every solution to this problem that I found online on the GitHub repo, uh, it uses this this kind of technique. It'll use a it'll use a helper that is similar to flatten like we have above, but mm -hmm. it will it will flatten only one time. So this this is like a, a two for one challenge. I think I feel like it has both of those things built into it. So the way that goes, if you don't mind, well, you tell me how yeah. much you want to suffer, but I would be happy to show you, like talk you through. No, uh, I'm also very happy. <laughs> okay, so so let me show you flatten once, and I'll kind of talk through it. And then once we have flatten once, I think it should be it should be easier to plug it in here somewhere. Let's just mm -hmm. get rid of the syntax error there. It should be easier to, to plug it in here somewhere. So to do this, uh, we're gonna we're gonna start off very similar to. Uh, we have what we have before. We have uh, inferred head and tail. Okay, so that's going to be the first and then remainder elements of the array. And then we're going to check. Uh, there's a like like before with the flatten video that we just did. There's a lot of different ways you could probably do this, but um, the one that I have in front of me is like this. So we put in the tail first, and then we're gonna. We're gonna spread in the accumulator. Oops, not ActiveX object. I hate when it does that. Um, well, does okay. that still exist? <laughs> um, it's because I typed ACC, and ActiveX object is the first thing that it auto completes to. So it thinks that like, anyway, um, they just can't stop reminding us. You know, <laughs> the dark age of, of, of the old days. Uh, <laughs> they're bitter about it too. See, it did it again. Okay, because I typed <laughs> space. Anyway. Uh, so, so here we are, uh, let's do this, we're done. So flatten once now is saying, oop, we need a, got a syntax error, there we go. So this is saying, if head is an array, then uh -huh. spread it in to another flatten once call with the tail yeah. as the first argument. Uh -huh. If head is not an array, then just pass it in literally. So we could take this condition and throw it in here like we saw before, but anyway. And then otherwise, if T is not an array, so mm -hmm. if T doesn't extend these things, then it means we're all it we're all done. There's no there's no tail left to infer. Then mm -hmm. just return the accumulator. So we're like flattening just one time. So down here in the true branch, we're gonna use it now. We're gonna say um flatten depth. Not abort controller either. Okay. <laughs> uh <laughs> So flatten depth, and then the first argument is just going to be. Well, what do you th what do you think it would be? So we have we have some kind of thing we're going to do with t here. We know that we want to pass the depth because that should never change. And then uh, let's do this part actually first. So we have our counter. How do we? How would you like to increment the counter? Let's see. So it's an array of numbers, right? So we can spread it. So the idea is that you just spread it and put in another value. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's just add one. Right. And that's why you could put anything here. You could put like, uh, you know, like USA number one <laughs> over here, um, you know, and then as long as USA number one is, is the value, TypeStrip yeah. is happy. And so we're going to create an array of USA number ones. It doesn't matter because we're never using those values. We're just we're just checking the length. So whatever. Okay. I didn't say if anyone is thinking I'm being nationalistic. I didn't say number one in what. So <laughs> leave it to the viewer yeah. to decide. All right. So now um, we come to this point. Mm -hmm. The idea is we know because we got to this place that mm -hmm. count length extends depth. Like we are at the last depth. We don't want to keep recursing. So we're gonna we're gonna just flatten once, right? Oops. Yeah. Uh, what's the problem? Flatten. Oh, no problem. Okay, that took a while. Flatten depth. Did I do it right? Hmm. Oh, oh, sorry. There's one more thing we have to do. We have to check. If flatten once t extends t, we have to check whether this is actually 
So let's look at our, our values and we're going to see what's going to happen. They're returning any in that case. So this one returns, uh, it's going, it's going the right number of recursions, but mm -hmm. so this, this, this test is passing, but a seven here is any, this one is any, so they're not, they're not actually getting through to where we, where we want. They're getting, they're getting to this point. So we need to check here, flatten once of T extends T. It's kind of a trick, I think. Not text. Oh, man. We're getting plagued by autocomplete today. So if it does, then that's what we do. Otherwise, we just return E-X-T-E-N-D-S. Okay. Otherwise, we just return T. So if flatten once of T extends T, meaning... Oh, I did them backwards. Uh, so that went a little bit too fast for me. So why are we checking... Uh if flatten once extends t, we want to know if it needs to be. We want to know if flattening it would make any <clears throat> would make any difference. Ah, right. So yeah. flatten once t would make no difference if it's already flat. Mm -hmm. oh, you see what yeah. I mean? So like this is the way we decide. I think I I wrote something here uh, wrong in this in the syntax, but hopefully let's see. I can do so, this. Hmm? In that case, we get any because it's not uh, it's uh, not uh, resolving. Right. And uh, let's check up here. What did I do wrong? Uh, maybe I let me see. Let me see. Okay, we're gonna like mega cheat, and I'm gonna throw my flatten once implementation here. Maybe I did something wrong with flatten once. No, it's exactly the same. Flatten depth. Okay. Well, let me show. Let me see if I can get this work in here. So what I do is I always look up different examples of how people have done this um, like elsewhere online. And we did something wrong. I typed someone wrong somewhere. Yeah, look, uh, count length T. So what did I do? Count length extends depth T, flatten once T, extends T. I know this is very boring. I'm sorry, one second. Flatten <laughs> once T depth oh, count. <laughs> Seems right to me. Um, okay, well, anywho. This is one way. What did we do? Oop. Sorry. Flatten. I spelled it wrong? No. No, 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 no. No. Okay, anyway, that's the answer. I think we had it. There's another one. There's another alternative that I saw people doing. And I have to, I guess we'll, uh, we'll like delete this stuff just to get it out of our face for a second. Uh, flatten. Sorry about that. Okay, so here's another example. It's pretty similar. It's, it's a little more complicated. It does basically the same thing. We're checking the length of the depth, returning T if we want to stop. Otherwise, we're going to keep flattening. Then we grab those values. Um, we check. This check is basically to catch the empty array. Uh, we might return an empty array. Otherwise, we're going to grab the head and tail. If the head is itself an array, then we can pass it into flatten depth. Again, in every case, we're not changing depth, so we pass that in. And then we increment the counter. Otherwise, the counter stays the same. We're not going, we're not, uh, or we're, we're using the head as an array here. But if head is not an array, then we can just pass it and move on to the next element. So we kind of have to recurse twice. It's like we're recursing deep and we're recursing, not, I mean, recursing because of the way conditionals work, but we're going back and forth. Okay. Flatten depth is hard, <laughs> I guess, is what we're yeah, learning. This one is Any hard. thoughts on yeah. this one? Yeah. Um... To be honest, uh, it's amazing that this is possible. But, uh, <laughs> I'm really struggling with uh, coming up with practical applications for it. Have you got an example? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think some of these are more esoteric than others. It's a super valid criticism of the challenges. They're for learning. I think that's the answer. Yeah, I mean, for me personally, I wouldn't have thought having done a lot of. I've done almost all of the challenges now. Having done them. I feel so much more empowered to like make sense of what's going on with things that really are applicable and really do matter. So I think it's like, it's kind of like lifting weights um, yeah, or yeah. like, you know, you're not always running from a bear, but it's nice to be able to run if you can. So it's good to be in shape. Yeah. You know you know what I mean? It's like one of those kinds of things. Um, so, so where this would be the bear. With, uh, what we had, I think we didn't uh, have a, a default uh, for depth. Oh, is that what it was? I think so. Oh, um, yeah, that would explain it. So let me let me pull back the implementation that does work. Oh, okay. 
we did this. Yep, and it fails because the depth. Okay, yep, because uh, it doesn't ever uh, get it doesn't ever get started at anything. So yeah. count length can never extend depth. So it just returns any. Ah. It re it returns it returns on yeah the thing that came in. Okay, which is why which is why yeah 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 all right. Well, you solved it. Okay, on to the next one. This one was a long one. Nice one. <laughs>